All right, guys, I was just tinkering with my buddy Ross's truck. Um, this thing got a lot of miles on it. He uses it for construction. It's just a little 4.3 Chevy Vortec, and it's on like its fourth or fifth transmission. It's, uh, we put some spiders in it a while ago, and keeps getting code. Very, very rarely it comes up. Misfires, and it's an injector number two circuit, control circuit code. I ohmed the wire out, it, it's 0 0.01 ohms. I shook the living hell out of it, sprayed it with water, did everything I could do. And I, I couldn't get you know, any more resistance. So I took the connector part, squeezed the pin in a little bit, did a pin drag test on it. And you know, it's not much different. So I'm thinking if anything, there's a driver in there. But I figured that while I'm hooked up into the number two injector, I'm gonna just use the little AES wave it's like a pocket use uh, scope it's called a U scope and it's a very good tool for just you know basically looking seeing what's going on I'm going to check the injector current and the injector voltage and I do have a two or eight channel hand tech but I don't need to compare these to each other in real time so it's going to just be one channel at a time it's a one channel scope very quick and I'll be back after I get hooked up I got the schematics printed out and I'm on uh, the green and black wire which leaves the fuel injector connector and it goes on to page two and then it goes into the ECM. It means I put this connector back together already and I'm already hooked up to the other end here. That's where, that's the wire I owned out. And it's, I, I could not get no resistance. So I, I tightened the pin over here. And then on this side, that's where I'm going to hook up the U scope to. All right, I'll be back. So there's the U scope plugged into the number two, the problem injector that cuts out on this occasionally. Um, should use an attenuator with this this injection system. It's only putting out like at the most of 68 volts. The scope will handle up to 80. And with the attenuator on, I put it on just to be safe, protect your equipment. But I wasn't getting nearly good of the waveform. But on the higher voltage ones, you definitely get a one two. But right here, we see the panel hump. That's where the injector is closing. Like you can't see it opening. All you're seeing is the injector getting activated here. And this is the injector actually closing. So we're going to do an amperage measurement too that should show the injector opening. So by the looks of that, it's not cutting out, but I'm going to compare it to number two. Back there, I'm going to move the probe, then we're going to just, you know, compare them, see if there's any difference. But I'm telling you now, that's, that's a good injector. It's not acting up at the moment. That's the number two injector. It's almost identical. We could see the same pattern. We could see the same. The injector's closing. And that's about all I want to run it, going right off the ground. Because that's going to, just getting close to the maximum voltage of the scope. And don't want to push it too much, but this one's been pushed quite a bit. Pretty tough units. All right. Next, I'm going to do the current ramp, and we'll see injector opening. and make sure everything's okay with that right now she's running good it's very intermittent so it's uh i doubt i'm really going to find a problem right now it's usually about once every six months it does it though so we'll see hoping to force the fall okay this is the amperage waveform i have an amp clamp i believe i got on the 20 amp scale what i'm mainly just looking for is, is Got a nice current ramp, nothing's cutting out, everything's looking good. Um, you could extend the time base a little bit too to get a better look at a little bit of detail. Oh, the other way, slow it down a little bit. Then you could actually see in this area here, it's the opposite of the pencil hump that we had on the voltage waveform. That's the injector. The current ramp starting to build up in the injector opening. What we've seen on the other side was the injector collapsing, the coil collapsing, and the injector, the mechanical part of the injector closing. 
so you could check if they're both opening and closing. Better scopes give you a little bit more detail, but that's good enough for me. It's just, I don't think we're going to find what's wrong with this one. It's just uh, very intermittent and, you know, tightened up all the connections, tightened up one pin on any of the ECU, but I think maybe the ECU's just had enough. We'll see how long it lasts in this time. All right, guys, that's just a little how handy one of these can be whenever you're tracking down a problem. You don't want to swap injectors. You don't want to pull injectors out. You kind of find a problem without, you know, getting too involved with it. Pretty quick, pretty fast to set up. If anybody's interested in, you know, how to use these things, there's a different menu and everything. Hey, you know, just let me know, drop a comment, and I'll make a couple that way. All right, guys. Adios.